All right. Welcome. Let's drink some mead. Let's drink some. Woo! <laughs> I'm trying to be energetic. You are, oh, you're doing a great job. Yeah, I am. I'm killing it, huh? Welcome back to Palette Expanders, episode 14. We've done uh, 14. We, 14 of these. Wow. Yeah, we've done I think uh, this is, if you watch 13 just before this, you'll notice something. I won't spoil. <laughs> I'm back. wearing a totally different wardrobe. What are yes, you talking about? Yeah. It's like it's like Superman and Clark Kent. You yeah, know, look at his Glasses right on, now. glasses off. Uh-huh. Sleeves down, sleeves rolled mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Totally different uh, person. We have force. two beverages to consume this evening. And we're going to try to and guess what not, they are. Yes, we don't know what they are. You brought something. This thing right here. I have brought this thing right here. And we are hopefully going to accurately <laughs> guess what um, we brought. You killed it on the last episode. Uh, we'll see about that. I, I didn't. Well... <laughs> Curveballs were thrown. Curveballs All right, we're going to start. Thrown. You should go back and check that out if you haven't seen it. The were... link will be right up there in a the card. <laughs> or not. <laughs> and you can, <laughs> you can YouTube it because I might forget. <laughs> <laughs> My cards are always totally unrelated to the content. You're like, I look at, check out this video, and then it's not <laughs> the video. Yeah, it's like, like an old Price is Right clip. <laughs> Well, we got Rusty Red. <laughs> a Rusty Red. <laughs> My nickname in college. <laughs> That's um, what I asked for at the wine shop. <laughs> Get that Rusty Red. Yeah. We what, got, do got, what do you got in the Rusty Red department? Two uh, very, oh. very different colors. Species good. swimming in, in aromas. Yeah, I think we should start with yours. Mine's too deep. Too deep. Too deep to start with. All right. These gonna... are very contrasty. Yes. They are. Usually we don't put a red and a white together for these mm, things. This might be... Um, we are going to check the aroma. Okay. Of mine first. Remember you told me... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do a little... Like a very fancy... Oh. That's, it's got a little heat on it. Mm-hmm, mm hmm That's leggy. You see that oh, thing clinging to the glass? It's doing that stanky leg as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my grandmother used like, to say. Yes, there is some is. heat riding on top of this. It's all that alcohol leaving. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> the can tell. The more you pour, the alcohol starts to leave the glass. No, but I like yeah. I, I can smell ethanol. Do you? Mm hmm I agree. What else do you get? Like, if you told me that you poured this on top of a shot of vodka, I'd believe you. Two shots of vodka? Then that's interesting. You don't normally smell that. You can smell heat sometimes, but you don't normally smell the actual like ethanol. Yeah. I don't know if that's because I've got a cold and so my nose is smelling things differently right is now. It is. Is it also the other aromas apparent? Do you think that could also be offshooting some things? It could be. It's got a. It's got a real kind of grain alcohol. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Kind now. of yeah aroma to it. That's interesting. Like you're a whiskey guy. You ever get yeah. White Dog whiskey? That unaged no, whiskey? No, but it has been featured on Palette Expanders before. So White Dog <laughs> has like, it's just, it, I'll... <laughs> I'm working on that project I'm right now. I'm 20 years old, so BC's sad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on that project right now. Uh, but it's got like all the character of whiskey without having any of the oak. Yeah. And this has got that. It's got a little bit of like a like a corn liquor kind of. Interesting. Okay. What else you get? That is so dominant. It is. I'm gonna like <laughs> blow the all the ethanol's leaving the glass. <laughs> yeah. This is this is zero percent now. Zero. How did I made water? Right, I can take this into Dave and Buster's. <laughs> Don't mind me. My non-alcoholic mead. There's a whiny like a white wine grapey kind of. Okay. It's very subtle. It's not cidery. Mm, okay. You know, when you talk about fermentation smells, mm -hmm. you typically talk about like that country fruit wine smell, which is like a cidery smell. Yes. You know, yep. A little bit of an apple kind of. Mm -hmm. But this is more of that like grapey, whiny, young, like unoaked Chardonnay mm -hmm. kind of whininess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not a table that grape, not, not a Niagara grape, but like. I got you. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that this is a pie mint. I'm just, yeah, no, like, I'm, that's what I'm picking up, right. is grain alcohol and white wine. <sighs> Do 
Uh, this body's, cold is his, killing his body me. inflating as <laughs> this cold is killing me because I feel like my nose isn't functioning properly. No, I feel you. I feel you. I don't pick up any distinct fruit. I don't pick up any honey character. Okay. Any of that? It smells like it smells like fortified wine. All right. Fortified white wine. Uh, yeah, I poured some. Um, the Deng Shmi on. Some I love. Viking blood. <laughs> I really like your pronunciation of that. Dang smiad. So uh, I've been watching. What's the? There's a. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> we shouldn't throw shade. All right, let's move on. Yeah, here's species. Okay, very different. I get a. Um, um, oh, this is. I got. I got to dig deep for the nose on this bad boy. I got to really. I got to do. Not my swirl technique. I am our, hoping... Our good friend Chef, his swirl, swirl smell. Yeah, it's patented. Patented. I am hoping that this one is a little bit oxidized. I might pick up a little bit of that up. Not gonna lie, I thought that when I poured the poured it, I was like, this is brownie. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for a little bit. Pime it. So this is, this is one that, I'll spoil it a little bit. I've made this recipe quite a few times and I've treated it quite a bit differently on this one. And I had a batch that sat for a long time and oxidized, uh -huh. and it went too far. And so I've just been using it to cook with. But I want a little bit of that note it's in red, here. Red um, grape pie mint. I'm not good at grapes, so I don't know about this guy. I have limited experiment experience. Got a rich oak on there. There's like a Frenchy American middle road not super super dark dark mm -hmm. excuse me mm -hmm. to light toast which would be you know like your maple whatever blah 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 sugar plum fairy oak i'm i gotta say i'm not gonna the nose on this is fantastic it, but i'm gonna say your your nose for oak is pretty good and like a uh, berry honey like a blueberry or a it's hard to pick through that um that the grape it could just be the grape I don't know. I'll taste it for the, the honey. But to me, it has a, like a little bit of a, a fruity honey. Okay. So. Where are we starting? You, you choose. I chose last time. So Let's, let's go light to dark. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, do. I think, that's, I think that's appropriate. <clears throat> All right. Here's a tasting. <laughs> There's a video for this one. I don't want to say that's hard to drink. But it does not go down easy. Mm. Mm. It what? Why not? Well, tell me why. It Explore. Hangs around, it hangs around every part of your mouth. Just when you think that it's like left, then you're like, oh nope, it's still hanging on over there. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, okay, no, that's good. Oh nope, it's back it's over here there. now. It's still in there. It's it it is. Okay, let me go back in. It's not it's not gross. Oh no, <laughs> it's got some got some character. Mm. I do not like how long it hangs around. It, it's not like a, to me, it's not a tannin clinging around. It no. is the flavor. It's soapy. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, ah, it's bitter. Um, like if you get soap in your mouth, mm -hmm. like you're shampooing or you're shaving or Shout something, you get, mom. get a little bit of soap in your mouth. Yeah, you <laughs> say a potty been word. The, been there, done that. <laughs> but it's got that, like, that sensation that, Astringency is not really the right word for it, but that, you know, it's like soap. You get soap in your mouth and you just like, you, you can't get it back out. You keep <laughs> yep, rinsing yep. and swishing and you're like, ah. Yes. Like a shampoo. It's, it's got like a shampoo kind of mm -hmm. sensation or flavor. Oh, you're not wrong. I, I am in agreement with everything that you're saying. This isn't like a prank, by the way. I'm not pranking him. I didn't soap the mead. You know, that would have been an interesting prank though, for sure. I wish I could pick up anything identifiable. It's kind of herbal. Herbal essences, maybe. <laughs> I, I wave some tea bags around it and just kind of... Ah, there is, there is a flavor in there. I don't know if it's an herb or like you said, a tea or an adjunct, but there is something in there that just... It's middle, like middle, middle back tongue to me. Just, it is just kind of like the top of the tongue, not the sides, no acidity, like sides hit in there, but like... Uh -huh. Man, and it just develops and grows. It's a roller coaster. A roller coaster of flavor. It's a roller coaster that only goes up. <laughs> we gotta go back down <laughs> at some point. We're just we're going up. Stairway to heaven. I don't know, man. I I don't taste a fruit in here. 
And so if it is, if there's, if this is fruited, it's something that I, I don't recognize or fermentation has obliterated. I don't, if I had to guess, I would guess that it's like a methaglin made with cilantro or something nasty like that. Hey, like you're just picking on me for my previous choices. In yeah, life. I don't. It's, I'm the only person who's put cilantro in me. Thank you very much. It's <laughs> that was like your first contest. Oh entry, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's soapy and it's grippy in all the wrong ways and it's like not sweet enough and it's not there's like no balance and so it just like I think that's what I'm experiencing is yep. I'm, I'm searching for balance and I'm just every time I take a sip it's unraveling mm -hmm. it's like yep. like a like a yarn ball unraveling and I just I can't get it all back <laughs> together just a cat trying to get the trying yeah. to catch the yarn he can't do it <laughs> it's this is one of the weirdest meads I've ever had Oh, hey, cheers to that, y'all. <laughs> and I don't, I mean, I'm trying to not be, but like, if we were judging this at Mead Stampede, this would be one of those, like, give it a 17 and just, like, say start over. And it's weird. It's, this is. A, It'll, a, I, just, I, I can't wait for the unveil. I'm going to hold everything. Yeah, let's drink something good. Okay, so we're switching over to yours. <laughs> this is less sweet than I thought it would be. It's also got a bright, almost like a, um, a uh, like a, basil like kind of um mamma mia um i don't know like a like that kind of herb -y, like a very light note of that to me mm. it is a little thinner than i thought it would be too yeah but it is that there's definitely a pie mint it's got the grape side especially in the nose i don't i don't know grapes well enough there's too many freaking grapes like too many, too many styles. But there's many. A, a red grapes. Here are all your red grape options. So I can wow, find all of them. <laughs> yeah, on the internet. Uh, the cooker, uh, Every single ten, red grape. 10 second Google search. You'll get these right results. Right down through the phylum. Yeah, every red grape. I will say yeah. most people would sweeten this a lot more than I, than I sweeten this particular yeah. brew. I personally like just a tinge sweeter. Five, ten points. Yeah. Um, the... Honey is not as descriptive as I thought, as I was envisioning in the beginning. It does have like a, it does have like maybe a, a wildflower note that is like got some a little berry, maybe though. There's a little like lift at the end. It's weird because it's like, it starts off, you got like a, a bright kind of whiny, very red whiny side. That's like a, you got a sharpness that mm -hmm. kind of bounces down and then it lifts back up. And that lift at the end is what I think the honey is, is that character. Um... It is it is through and through, dark berry, dark berry profile. Which so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my keep my original guess because I do think that that I don't know it's it could be hidden behind all that piment side. But piment blueberry, American Hungarian oak or sorry French Hungarian oak, medium toast oak, some sort. No back sweetening. Um, well, maybe light back sweetening. And as far as like tannin, I feel like, or sorry, uh, acidity. I don't, I don't know if you did a lot of acidity adjustment. You might've put maybe like a pinch of tartaric in there, but like does not have perceive as citric to me. It doesn't have a tinge, but there's still that little herbally note. And that could be that oxidation you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's presenting some different characters. Mm -hmm. I don't have, I've not done a lot with <laughs> oxidizing <laughs> my stuff <laughs> intentionally to say like, oh, I perceive this thing now, mm -hmm. but it does have like a, like the sherry side, you know, mm -hmm. you talk about, we mm -hmm. talk about sherry oxidizing. It does have those notes. And so I think that whole overall thing kind of flips when you oxidize something, kind of takes everything and goes like, rotates it. Yeah. Like yeah. it's a ball and you're That's all of a sudden. That's a really good metaphor. Yeah. Is it, you're not, you're not ruining it. Yeah. You're changing it. Slightly. Yeah. It's, it's the same thing. You're just a little on the different side. Yeah. Different side of the moon. Um, let's make this. Oh. Okay. Would you like me to go first? Yeah. Go for it. I'm really impressed with some of the things that you pulled out in this. It is American oak. Okay. Uh, which you had said originally. Yeah, I said, and then I, I diverted. Yeah. Hungarian. So uh, what this is, this is a Viking blood mead. It mm. is a cherry berry blend oh, yeah. with um, dark cherries and hibiscus. Oh, and okay. So there was that, like, I said oregano. I, I could have said the wrong herb. Yeah, yeah, hibiscus. Yeah. And what you're picking up is this was, after it was completed, it was slightly back sweetened. I, I, most people make their Viking blood real right. dense, yeah, yeah, real yeah. sweet. I like mine on the drier uh -huh. side. And then I racked this into a five gallon American oak barrel that had just been emptied okay. from yep. a Merlot pie mint. 
Oh. So it I picked up a lot of that pine mint mm -hmm. then. It must have just I bottled the pine mint. There was probably a bottle's worth left in the okay. barrel and then everything that had soaked Man, into the barrel. Yeah. And then I racked the Viking blood directly into that barrel. So it was mixing with all those pine right. flavors. It was picking up all that oak. Mm. And there's plenty of headspace in there. There's probably about that much headspace. Yeah. So I'm getting some of that oxygen exposure mm -hmm. to try and sherry it a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm impressed. It, you talked about the acid that comes from all the, the cherry yeah. berry that's in there. Uh -huh. Strawberries, cherries, blueberries, all of that. Hmm. So that makes sense. I mean, you know, I'm looking for the cherry now. And I, I mean, everything's easier when you know the answer. I'm just gonna go and look at you in the, in the eyes right now and tell you, when you know it, great. Taste mm -hmm. something blind, that's, yeah. that's more important. The, that that pine mint really came through and mm -hmm. just was like, here we are. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's cool how they yeah. mixed together. It was really, I mean, it's really good. And, and that was my, my first place award-winning pine mint, the one that, mm -hmm. that won at uh, Orpheus. That makes sense. This this makes sense. I I that herb. I need to familiarize myself with herbs. That's my yeah. next new Do goal. I love tech. hibiscus. It is fun. Yeah, I love, love also. I, what did I start with the Dengshmiad joke? Yeah. And yeah, that's and, when he said. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was totally not not planned. Yeah, this is this is man. I made so many batches of this recipe. Yeah. And when when I was emptying that barrel, I was like, oh, I need to put something in there because you can't let it dry out. Yeah. And I just happened to have this ready to go, and I was like, okay. That Which, by the way, when you look up that look up a Viking blood, you one of your recipes, the first one that yeah. that this recipe that this recipe, recipe yeah. is one of the first ones to show up, and is pretty good. People swear by it. Can <laughs> recommend. You ready for mine? Uh, yeah. Did you, already, you already did your whole guessing round, right? Yeah, what did I say? That it's a... Uh, you said a methylene. Methylene with... Roll, cut it back. Roll it back. Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, A cilantro. I said... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me re-guess. I, I don't think you're going to get it. I'll be honest. I'm just full transparency. This, but this bad boy is cruel. I and you might be disappointed with the result. I don't want to taste it again. What okay. is it? You are drinking... One of the most expensive meads in the world to make, a Manuka traditional oh. mead. Manuka honey, no tannin, no, no um, oak. Straight up, I spent, I made half a gallon of this mead. I remember spent, when you made this, yep, yeah. There's a whole video on it, had my wife taste it, and she, she liked it at the time, and um, I don't know if she'd like it now. I don't think she would. But, uh, and I don't remember what I said in it, but it's just super expensive. It's about 65 bucks to mm -hmm. make a half a gallon. Because they sell it as medicine. Yes. Yeah. Which this has so much medicinal. It's gross. Like, it does. It tastes. You're right. You're right. That's cough, probably the. Cough syrupy, like. The um, methaglin vibe is coming from that, those flavors in the honey. Ugh, it's gross. Yeah, it is not. It's so soapy. It is. And I, I don't think I've ever had a traditional that's just hung around my mouth like that. Right. Well, and you know, we have had a Manuka traditional before. At Mead Stampede, oh, that's the right. one gold, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I remember being pretty good. But also, I think the really defining factor was that it was back sweetened, and I do think that mm. the raw honey character post fermentation, no back sweetening, is like, yeah, yeah. The describing it as tasting like medicine really sums that up, because that's a, like you you taste it, and you're like, oh, I want that out of my mouth. Right. That's like yes. that cough syrup kind yep. of. It's so herbal and soapy and like it doesn't drink like a recreational drink. It drinks like something that somebody has prescribed that you have to drink, right? You heard that verse, y'all. <laughs> Make sure you're only consuming recreational <laughs> drinks. Yeah. Cheers to that. Well, that was I, something. I'm sorry to disappoint Manuka fans all Thank over the Thank you for world. sharing. Um, it's not aging well, so. No. This has been episode 14. We did it. I hope you learned something because one, we're, we're being dumb, but also and having fun, but also we're saying things that are hopefully um, new information or maybe just mm -hmm. reiterated information to you. I'm very impressed with your palate. Oh, your your you. ability to pick up the pie mint in something that only sat in a pie mint barrel. I mean, it has so much. It's pie minty. I mean, it's got the... It's grapey, yeah. Yeah, it's grapey. It's, it's grapey there. <laughs> Maybe. I'm I'm impressed. Well, thank you. I'm impressed. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. There's if you're bored and haven't seen the other 13 episodes, <laughs> there are 13 more on the channel. Plenty of content. Yeah, you got. I mean, I think I, I made a super, like, one one uh -huh. point that was the first 
10 or 10 oh, or 12. Oh, wow. About five hours. <laughs> if you need uh, to kill five or six hours. That's one way. Yeah, that's go back a, to the beginning of the playlist. Something you can do. Some, something you can do. So, <laughs> for that, <laughs> with that, go check out Doing the Most. He's got lots of content to I watch. Do. It's also I'm, something to do. It's also something that you can yeah. do with your time. And I will say, you know, while this video is probably 20 something minutes long, <laughs> it is still shorter than some of the other meme content <laughs> on the internet. Fair. And hopefully you've learned more. We respect your time. We respect your time. Have a great day. Cheers. Cheers.